So, invoice, is there any penalty if I did not issue invoice? Yes, uh, there's a penalty for you. Uh. If let's say you forgot to issue invoice, the penalty is here. If you forgot, you fail to issue invoice, and you fail to issue cell bill, and your cell bill e invoice does not have a supporting document. Let's say you issue cell bill, actually, but you do not have a payment and supply invoice to support this cell bill. It's also considered once of the offender. Fail to issue consolidated invoice. This uh one of the offense. If let's say you did not, then the charges will be fine up to less than not less than 200. Okay, not more than 20,000 or imprisonment and assisting six months or both. Uh, I heard from the uh, income test that this 200 is for each e invoice. Uh, let's say you forgot to issue five e invoice, maybe there's 200 times five. 1,000 penalty. Okay? Alright? So, you need to be, be careful. Huh? Alright. So, uh, government implement this info. Were there any incentive given to the taxpayer or not? So, here, there's a three incentive for you to, you can enjoy this trend, uh, uh, incentive. First one is a digital grant. If you're going to upgrade your software, you buy your software, actually, you can get up to 5,000 grant from, to buy, to upgrade your software. And the good news is this grant it just started application from 1st April 2024, the last two days before. Okay. So if you want to know more, go to check with your software supplier. They will uh, they will normally they will apply for you. Okay. The second one is the capital allowances. Capital allowance is the one if your company is going to buy software, buy the computer, you can claim a capital allowances. Previously, you can claim in four years. Now, shorten the time, claim within three years. So the first year, you can claim 40 plus 20. So shorten the time for you to claim back the capital allowances. The last one is the tax deduction for consultation fee given for the implementation of e-invoice. Okay. If let's say, but this one only given to MSME, uh, small media enterprise. If let's say you fall under small media enterprise, you want to engage, you want to call, uh, uh, I guess a consultant to consult you how to implement e invoice. You can claim a tax deduction up to 15,000 in a year, effective from YA 2024 to YA 2027. So, this one only applicable to MSME, right? You are not fall under the MSME, you're, you're not entitled for, to claim this tax in deduction for the consultation fee, right? So, this is the criteria for you to apply the digital grant. So, you must be Malaysian company, no more than 60% owned by Malaysian citizen. Registration must be SSA, registered with SSA. Businesses should be operated for at least six months. Annual turnover average is 50,000 per month. Uh, 50,000 uh, annual turnover per year. If you already applied the previous grant, uh, so you might not able to entitle to this grant. Okay? So if you previously doesn't apply any grant before, then you can apply under this grant. All right. Go to uh, check with your software provider. So if you want to know more about the invoice guide, this is the reference for you. You can go to invoice portal and this is a guide all available in the income tax portal. Okay. So this is my business card. So uh, my company is, uh, I, I work in Kesu and Co and Kesu Taxation. My company is doing auditing, income tax and SST. So I'm doing the business advisory and consultation fee for those uh, company. If let's say they have a ST issue, income tax issue, and also the e-invoice issue. So if you, let's say you want to have a uh, further information, you want to acquire our uh, services, you can always contact me. Or you have if you have any question regarding the e-invoice, you can email to me and can WhatsApp to me. All right. You can take now this, this my name card. All right. Thank you everyone. Uh, actually, I finished my sharing. Thank you, everyone.